Okay, in this video we're going to explore some sort of little things we can do with masking in ProShow Producer. First of all, we're going to start off with this image here. I'm going to click, drag and place it into slide number one. While this is still highlighted, I'm going to press Control, clicking on this uh, slide here, so we've now got the two selected, still pressing down Control, dragging and dropping them into slide number two. Right, let's take a look. Slide number one, first of all, double click in to open the slide option dialog box. There it is. And I think what we need to do is just a little bit on the big side. So we're going to give it a bit of space around the outside by coming into the zoom. I'm putting in a figure of 90. That looks pretty good there. Just coming to the end. We're going to go copy start to end, talking of the end, and there it is. But with this, I think it'd be a good idea just to give it a little bit of definition between the photograph itself and the actual background. So go into Layer, we're under the Editing tab, we're going to drop down to Drop Shadow, well, that's where we're dropping to, and you'll notice in goes the Drop Shadow and the way it can actually make it stand out from the background. But not forgetting, we've actually got two slides in our show so far. I want to copy these settings onto slide number two. Very easy, just come to where it says On, right-click, Copy Enable to all layers on all slides, so in other words, every time we now add a layer, or add a slide, should I say, it will add the drop shadow to it. Right, let's take a look. Let's go to the next slide. We're going to click on the arrow here to go to slide number two. There it is, and you can see a drop shadow with it. But again, they're on the large size, so the figure we put in was 90. Clicking on slide number two, we're going to put in 90. Making sure we get the start and the end position correct by coming up to this icon here, clicking on it, and copy start to end all layers. There they are. Right, now for the masking. Now with the masking we're actually going to come to the layer tab where we got the plus symbol. We're going to click on this. We're going to go to add gradient. Okay, this is the add gradient where the create a gradient and you can see it's uh, yeah pretty interesting. Lean in from the bottom left through to the top right, about a 45 degree angle, which is rather nice of it. But if you click down, you can drag your cursor out. This way you can actually spin it round. You can see for all the color ones at the top there what's actually happening. Bringing the bar up to get more of a solid line will just ensure, it's a bit like the Photoshop gradient, just ensures you've got a nice straight line there. Job done. Now with masking, black is going to reveal, white is going to conceal but there isn't a huge amount of white and there isn't a huge amount of black. There's just a lot of this grey stuff in the middle and this is going to be where the transition, where the blending takes place. So to increase the white, click on the tab, move it across. You'll notice the white coming through there. So this sort of area here would be pretty good. Doing it again with the black. Clicking down, probably easier to see with the black as we move this across. You can see the line creeping across there. So that sort of area would be pretty good. Don't forget, this is going to reveal, this is actually going to be where it's sort of blending together and this is the part which is going to conceal. Click OK to that. But at the moment, it is just a gradient layer. What we have to do next is right click, come to Use as Masking Layer, clicking on this, through it goes. It's now a masking layer. And if I just show you the image behind, there it is, you can see the two blending beautifully together. Great if you're using portraits, this is, well, I'll cover this in a, a, in a different video, but it is a great way of just blending two pictures together. But what we're going to do with this is we're going to take a look at actually adding movement to it. Now, one thing we got so far is if I click on this, if I move it across to the right-hand side, because we're going to have it coming across like this, you can see we've already run out of mask. But if we just lift the zoom, the X and the Y, if we lift it up into around about that sort of figure there we can take a look that looks better moving this across what I'm looking at is as we move it you begin to notice where the white line actually really starts so we're going to move it out to that sort of position that area there you can just see the edge creeping in so that's just about perfect like that right clicking on this icon copy start to end through we go so we now know we got the same figures here moving this across to the left hand side there again you can now see the black line so that looks pretty good we can use that we can bring it across ah but look there's the end of the uh, the actual mask coming through so we're going to increase this in size just allowing us to and we think we need to go even further 
That looks better like that, <laughs> right? At least now there's not going to be any slide poking through from underneath. And if you want to get these figures absolutely spot on, just enter zero in there and zero in there, and then you know it's going to run through pretty smoothly. Let's take a look. Here it goes. It's going to play through. There it goes there. That looks pretty good like that and ending up with nothing. I'll tell you what, let's end up with something. Let's take this slide. We're now going to come back up to this icon. We're going to go to copy end to next slide. Using that has now taken the last slide here, the one we actually selected, and put it into slide number three. Right, for the next stage, let's just take a look at this again. I'm going to click down and I'm going to drag across. This now allows us to be able to come through. We can see exactly what's happening. There's the three second transition coming in. There's our three seconds on screen and then coming out to the next slide there with a transition of three seconds. So if we just lift this up, we can come down. We can click on this icon here. There's our transition time. So we're going to put in one. We're going to put in six. We're going to put in zero because we don't need anything for the transition out. Let's click OK to that. Right, let's click OK. And here we go. Oh, one thing I would like to change. We don't really need three seconds here. We don't really need three seconds on this one. So I'm just going to press Control. We've clicked on them both. Releasing Control. And now I'm going to put in one. If I just click down, change the t that changes the on-screen timer for both of these slides together. OK, coming back to the start position, which is always handy. We're going to go to play. And here it comes. Now, hopefully now this will be a nice soft. There it is, a lovely soft fade through to that job done and there it is just using masking but come on let's have a bit of fun we're going to click back on slide number two we're going to come into this what we're now going to do is click on the mask rotate we're going to put in minus 90 lifting this up until it comes into this position here again just looking at that line you can see that solid line coming through there just lifting it up into that sort of area there would be pretty good coming across to rotate on the end position and putting in 90 again this time lifting this up looking for that black mask coming there it is there you can see that black line coming through lifting it up to that sort of position that would be pretty good if we click down and we drag it across there it is that's what I'm looking for Pulling this around, what we need to do is just check out that there it ah, see that's what I'm looking for. See that solid line coming in in the bottom right hand corner that we need to avoid, and there it is a little bit in the left hand side as well. Right, it's quite simple to get rid of that. All we need to do is take the start position because that's the start position here, that's going to be the end position as we were looking at it. We're going to take this up to 300, roughly the same sort of figures we got for the end position. Now, when we click down we drag it out we should now get eight there it is that's better a nice soft sort of tumble round it goes and job done let's try it okay just make sure we're back at the start position right clicking choosing play as you can see this is now going to go through brilliant stuff love it right let's just have a bit of fun again I'm doing this completely on the fly I've got an idea I wish I wouldn't do this. Right, what we're going to do is, this time we're going to put in 180. We're going to take it even further. But 180, what this will do now, let's just take a look. We're going to click down, drag this across. This is going to start to fade it through. There's the bride and groom coming through. It's now going to come back to the end position. Again, just keeping an eye out. Look at that hard edge down there in the bottom right-hand corner. So we need to keep an eye out on that. That is on the fade out. You can see that's where it actually changes from the fade in to the fade out. So what we're going to do is take this up like that. Now when we try it, we should be able to come through. It's going to be a nice soft. Just going to whiz through this quick. There it is there. Beautifully done. Some great images by Joe Doyle of joephoto.co.uk. Right, that looks good. The other thing is, don't forget, we're now going to end up on this picture here. So what we're going to do is take this picture. If I just move across, we're going to come, click on this. We're going to go to copy end to next slide. So clicking on this, that's the end one. In that drops. It's taken on the same transition time, the same 
on screen time. Let's click OK to that. Let's go to the beginning. We're going to click play. Watching it full screen. Through that's going to go into that position and then back to that slide there. <laughs> really does work a treat. Gosh, that was really. <laughs> it's one of these stuff things. I suddenly think of something as I'm going through it, but I thought I'd just share that with you. But there it is, masking in Pro Show Producer. You can do a huge range of different types of masking. We will be exploring them in further videos, so please join me again for the next time.